Good morning. I'm here for uh, an interview. Oh. Really? <laughs> Make it disappear in ten minutes, okay? Oh, no, no. Uh, I applied for a different job. Data engineer. You? Um, a data engineer? Yeah, exactly. Liza McDowell. John, um, have a sit. Mrs. McDowell. Um, here's your computer. A test task. Oh. Good luck, data engineer. <laughs> yeah. What is it, John? <laughs> you know how I really need a data engineer? Yeah, of course. Did you find someone? <laughs> yeah. Dude, just don't tell her. <laughs> she gets two socks for her grandchildren. <clears throat> but she's a data engineer. Grandma, what the hell? Richard, dear. Hey, lay off. Sorry, I've just missed you. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> what did you forget here? Do you remember when I said that I never see you? <laughs> so, I found a way to get a job in your company. Are you kidding me? Hey. No, I'm serious. I took some IT courses and learned how to be a data engineer. Plus, before retirement, I worked as an ordinary engineer. They are different jobs, but they are both based on logic and structural thinking. Granny! Why don't you go home and forget the way back? That way you will never embarrass me again. John, continue the job search. Well... I guess I won't be seeing my grandson more often. <laughs> no way. Wow. Wait. Can you stay for a moment? Your test task. It's the best I've ever seen. <gasps> and you managed it in five minutes. Wow. Thank you. <gasps> Can you tell me where the exit is? I'm lost. Uh, can you look at something else? This is the product that we created. What's the point? Richard doesn't want me to work for your company. If you don't look, Richard will have no company to work for. What are you talking about? You know, the investor is coming in tomorrow. But if this doesn't work, he won't give us any funding. And will Richard lose his job? Everyone will lose their job. Well, let's take a look. Great. Good news. I found a person who'll save our little startup. Whoa, whoa. Everything's work? Yeah. Show me this genius. We have to hire him. <laughs> okay. Come on in. Is this some kind of joke? Your grandmother really fixed everything. I mean, the problems we haven't been able to solve are like Two months. I just gave it a fresh look. I guess she was just lucky. Rich, we are not talking about fishing. In our business, nothing works without skilled people. There are many specialists on the market. And no one could manage it better than your grandmother. And that's a fact. <sighs> Rich, the investor is coming tomorrow. This is our chance to stay afloat. Come on, you devoted three years on this startup. I, I better go. I don't want to be intrusive. Don't go. Are you going to hire me? No. Just help us perfect with product before we the meeting with the investor. Will you help us? <laughs> Finally, I, I get to spend some time with my beloved grandson. Of course I help. Uh, just no kissing Mrs. McDowell, okay? Okay. <sighs> uh, are you sure this is an overkill? 
The investor should be. <sighs> Don't be nervous. Thanks to our new data engineer, the product is the bomb. Done. Always happy to help my grandson. Just call me that way in front of the investor, okay? Better to just keep quiet. Oh, yeah, here he is. Uh, here he here he is, yeah. Uh, hi, Richard. Sir, we are ready for the presentation. That's great. I hope our investment in you wasn't in vain. <laughs> uh, Richard, is it necessary for the maid to be on our meeting? Our business meeting? Madam, pardon me. It's uh, unheard of. Ma'am, go clean up. You are redundant here. Oh. I'm sorry. I go and do my work. <coughs> John, walk Mr. Ford over to the conference table. I will be there in a minute, okay? Okay. Oh, come on. Don't be offended. I just couldn't say that this is my grandmother who works for me as a data engineer. I'm not offended. I just wanted to spend more time with you before I go. Before I go? Let's not over-dramatize. I didn't want to tell you, but I'm very sick. The doctors can say exactly how much longer I stayed. But... Wait. Why didn't you tell me right away? I didn't want to manipulate you with my disease. I, I just dreamed to spend more time with you. Do you remember when in your childhood your parents brought you to my place during the holidays? It was the best time of my life. I wanted to feel that again. Right. But hey. I don't want to be a burden that you'll be ashamed of. I don't want you to this to remember about me. <laughs> now run. You have a very important meeting. I love you. Forgive me, Grandma. <laughs> You exceeded my expectations. Uh, great job, guys. Great job. This is our life's work. <laughs> <laughs> Who worked on it the most? I want to share my admiration personally. Me, John. Uh, and? And one other person. And why is he not here? Quickly call him. I will call her. Her? No. Let's do it. It's, it's, it's gorgeous. It's, it's fantastic. Okay. Oh my. Here is the savior of the project, the one who stepped up when it was on the verge of failure. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. <laughs> Liza McDowell. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, the maid. Uh, she's not the maid. She's our data engineer. And party time. My grandmother. Wow. <laughs> wow. Grandmother and grandson work together to make history. Yeah, I can already see the newspaper headlines. Guys, you're gonna have investors backing up trucks full of cash. Can I shake your hand? You can even hug me. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I will share this story with uh, some other investors. Uh, they simply be astonished. Fantastic. Oh my. Um, I'll leave you alone. Hey, Grandma. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for my behavior. I'm sorry for not spending more time with you and always thinking only about work. I'm sorry for not appreciating my time with you. I'm not ashamed of you. 
I'm proud of you. <laughs> you bet. Who else has a grandma working as a data engineer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, what are you doing? I'm going to put in a workplace in order. Ah! And one more thing. You can kiss me whenever you want. So, I will start now. <laughs>